Hello, this is Steve at Greenfield H2O. Uh, we've got a 118-plate uh, cell here, and we put some uh, 3 8 fittings on them so that we can get the uh, full use, the full inside diameter of the, of the output and input hoses. And we've got it hooked up to a variable power supply. And the cell has two 59 plate stacks in it. So we've got two uh, AC to DC converters, one for each side. We've got a switch for each one. And then two variable power supplies, one for each side. You can see the amps there, a little over 14 amps. And the voltage here, a little over uh, 127 volts. And I'll show you the production. There's the tanks. And here is the liters per minute. 7.8 liters per minute. So this cell has two inputs on the back two inputs on the front and also two outputs on each side and it's flowing really nicely you can tell by the uh, liters per minute just kind of staying rock solid there if the flow was bad you would kind of see that go up and down and jump around a lot As you can see here on the cell, we've got some springs here. And there's a spring behind each of the binding bolts. What that allows it to do is when this stack heats up, the springs will absorb the expansion. And when it cools back down, the springs will let it contract. This keeps the cell from leaking. So you can you can build a a big cell like that and not have to worry about it leaking. See the temperature there? Hasn't been running for very long. This here will give you some idea of what the cell will do. As the temperature goes up, we'll be able to draw more current and more amps, and more liters per. We'll get more liters per minute. I'm going to show you the variable. See as I turn the dial down, the amps will go down. You can also see as I turn the amps down, liters per minute will fall. So you can vary the production right here on these controllers. The controllers have a variable setting, which is on right now, where you can vary your production. Or they have a full-on setting where it bypasses the controller and goes full-on. Now we're full-on. See the liters per minute climb.
We're up to nine liters a minute now. This system will easily get over 10 liters a minute. Now I will uh, show you show you the flame. I'll attach a torch. Set the camera on the tripod so we can get a better look at this. Okay. Here's the torch. You can hear it running. We'll go ahead and strike it. Use a regular striker. There you go. That is uh, eight liters a minute. Yep. Better look at the flame here against a black background. There you go. That'll cut just about anything. And of course we can vary that flame by varying our controllers. So I'm going to turn one controller down. Let's see flame there. As I turn the controller down, see the flame will pressure in the tank there. That is about two liters a minute. So if you have something small to weld, can use a smaller flame. Got it too low there. We were under a liter a minute. The tip is too small for that. There we go. Now, let's see, about two liters a minute. That's the flame you'll get. So you can adjust your flame.
there you can see should hit 12 liters a minute there we go 12 liters a minute 22 amps so each side is doing six liters per minute this is pretty much the max for this 118 plate cell That'll show you what the uh, cell is capable of. And that's what 12 liters a minute looks like going through the bubbler. This is the 118 plate cell. This cell comes with an optional 6 gallon reservoir and a bubbler with a flash port. Also optional are the variable controllers. You can order the cell as a do-it-yourself kit where you can build the cell. You can order it the cell by itself as a do-it-yourself kit or you can order it with the AC-DC power supply and all the other optional equipment that I mentioned. I appreciate everyone watching my video. This is Steve at GreenFuelH2O.com. Thanks for watching.